In this method, we will be able to select multiple cells using the mouse without the keyboard help. So I'm going to click on cell A1 and I'm going to use my mouse to click cell A1 and then keep dragging my mouse to the downward direction until I reach A5 and then I remove my hand of my mouse. So now what has happened is I've selected A1 to A5 using the mouse. A1 is the active cell as indicated by the color here versus the colors here in these cells. And A1 is also shown in the formula bar here. The content of A1 is visible. So we were able to select A1 through A5 just with the mouse by just clicking A1 and then dragging until A5. We can do the opposite one too. So I'm going to click on A5 and I'm going to click and then keep dragging my mouse in the upward direction until I reach A1. And as you can see here, as I'm doing, I am extending my selection. And when I come in the opposite direction, I will be able to deselect and reduce my selection. And as I reach A5, and if I keep going down in the downward direction, I'm going to select more cells in the downward direction. So this is very simple. But when we selected from A5 through A1, you saw that A5 is the active cell, as you can see here in the formula bar. A5 is the active cell and all the five cells are selected and that is indicated by the thick border around our selection. Now, you can also do it along the rows. For example, I click on A5 and then if I drag my mouse to the right, it's going to select the cells in the right direction in this row. And it also works from C5, I can go this way and select C to A5. And now this also works diagonally. For example, if I want to select all the cells here from A1 through C5, I click on A1. Instead of going just right or down, I'm going to go in the diagonal direction here, as you can follow my mouse pointer there. And I have now selected all the cells in these three columns here very quickly with just one movement. Again, let me do it again. A1, select. So now we have selected all the cells with just one movement. I recommend this method if you prefer using your mouse and if you have a really small data set like we have here. This method will not be very handy if you have data that goes across pages and pages and you know you have to scroll to the right. This is not going to be very easy. Here in the small data set, it's very easy for you to drag and select the end of your selection because it's all in one screen and you can see them clearly. Each of the methods that we are learning will be useful or will be effective in certain scenarios because you're going to be coming across a variety of different scenarios and different data sets, different sizes of the data sets as you work in Excel. So this is another method to keep in mind, especially when you are getting started in Excel, especially when you are still new. Um, this method can be very effective because you may be dealing with smaller data sets, but as you get more experienced, you may find that you, you will probably prefer the keyboard shortcuts instead of the mouse.